Hello, this is a short video about group zero in the periodic table. And group zero is found right at the end there, and it's called, or well, the name of the group is the noble gases. Let's make a quick note of that, the noble gases. And they are found in a position right at the end over here. There's our noble gases at the end of the periodic table. So you can see on the left-hand side, I've got them listed out. And the first thing to remember about those is, if we look at a couple of examples, we've got helium there and neon there. The first thing is that they have a stable arrangement of electrons. What does that exactly mean? Well, if we look at helium, we can see it's got two electrons in its outermost shell. So that outer shell is full. If we look at the next element down, which is called neon, you can also see it's got a full shell, but in this case it's eight. Either way, the arrangement of electrons is stable because you can't add any more and there's no space for any others to get added on. So helium won't react very easily with other atoms of helium, nor other atoms. Let's have a look at something that's very reactive. This is lithium. One electron, dying to give it off, give off the electron, but there's no way that helium, nor neon, or any other noble gas can pick up that electron because they haven't got the space. So these elements in group zero are very unreactive. Let's just tidy that up out of the way and make a note of a few points about group zero. Firstly, as we said, they have a stable arrangement of electrons. They all have eight electrons in the outer shell except helium, which has two, but that's still a full outer shell. They are very unreactive. They don't react with other elements and they don't form molecules very easily at all. And the lower down the group you go, the higher the boiling point. So we haven't talked about that yet, but what do we mean? This is a characteristic of group zero. So if we were to look at some boiling points for group zero, they would look a bit like this. Here we go, we've got group eight elements. They are listed on the left-hand side there, going down the group. So that would be the same as those elements going down the group there. And you can see their boiling points. So the boiling point is where it turns from liquid to gas. And helium has got the lowest boiling point of all. And at the further you go, the higher the boiling point. How would that look on a graph? Here we've got helium all the way down to radon, as in our periodic table and the graph would look like this. So you can see that helium with the lowest boiling point, and the further down the group you go, the higher the boiling point. So moving towards zero, the minus numbers actually is an increasing boiling point. So we're going higher on the graph in that direction. Okay, so those are the key things we need to know about group zero on the periodic table. The fact that they're very unreactive, why they're unreactive, and the trend or the pattern in their boiling points. Okay, so a short video, but important information nonetheless. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.